sir. Oh, it very nearly was the worst, my dear, but fear no more. I'm home now and all is well. How can all be well? We've lost our farm, our maids, our way of life. Everything we've worked our lives for, we've lost. Indeed, it seems the noble cause of states' rights is no more, along with all of our dreams. But rest, Kitty, we must still be brave. Do not think of what President Johnson will do to us now. Oh, William, if only I were as courageous as you. But you must be famished. Let me, let me fix you something to eat. Getting a midnight snack? That's not what I meant. What are you doing in the house? <laughs> I live here. I've always lived here. That's true, I suppose. But you never used to live in the house. Well, things change. I live in the house now. I didn't know you could read. I can. Since when? Since I was 14. Who taught you? Was it Rosa? I taught myself. Well, things really have changed since I was away. <laughs> Where were you again? Risking life and limb, fighting for a cause I believe in. Oh, and what was it you were fighting for? Uh, states' rights, of course, Southern independence. The idea that a man can do what he wants without anyone in Washington telling him what to do. Interesting. So, Thomas, when you... Thomas was my slave name. What is your name now? I think I'll call myself George. I've always liked that name. Yes. I suppose it's a very good name. And I'm so sorry to bring this up, but now that you're back... What? I'm afraid you can't stay here. Excuse me? Well, I didn't want it to come to this, but I own this house now, and I don't really think it would be right for us to live together. What do you mean you own this house? It's mine. My family has lived here since the revolution. This house has been passed from father to son for five generations. I will not stand for this! But it's always passed to the oldest son. Why should the younger get the house? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> what do you mean, younger son? Oh, didn't you know? Ah, you probably didn't, as you weren't born yet, but your father was my father as well. Technically. Yes. I had heard that. Guess that makes us... brothers. I never thought of it that way. Quite. And since I'm oldest, your father's inheritance should have been my birthright. I'm terribly sorry for not letting you know earlier, but I was quite busy. No. It's perfectly fine, I suppose. <laughs> well, that was much easier than I thought it would be. I think I'll go to bed. I've got work in the morning. You can take your time leaving. Wait! I just want to let you know, I was going to set you free one day. You're far too kind. <laughs>